Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be making my catch-all spread for the week of June 21st through 27th. I'm going to be combining these Disney princess books. So this one is Strong at Heart and this one is Once Upon a Time. I'm primarily using the Strong at Heart one because I like the illustration style in that a little bit better. And then I'm pairing it with Teacher Florals. It should make sense in a minute but I'm going with the Cinderella theme because my college roommate is getting married this weekend and I'm in the wedding and it's a Cinderella themed wedding. This is going to be a very busy week for me so I don't know how decorative this is going to get but I'm excited to kind of have plans in my planner and just jump into this. I want to start off strong with the theme so I'm taking these ones and a little bit of white out to start the cluster down here at the end of the sidebar. Not really sure what the sidebar is going to be for this week. Maybe a packing list because I have a million things I got to get packed. So I'm taking this Cinderella sticker. As I was saying, I like the illustration style better in this book. It's a little bit more sketchy. It's a little bit more mature. The other one is kind of cartoony. And I'm sticking her right over here in the corner. And this sticker book combo is inspired by We Stana Plan on Instagram. So I'm taking these blue flowers from the Teacher Florals book. There's not a lot of blue florals in any other sticker books. So very nice pairing here. We're kind of going for like a blue theme. And I'm going to put half of that down the edge of the page. I just need to find scissors now. I'm going to go ahead and trim that and then I can save this other half for somewhere else in the spread. I'm not really sure how many flowers I really want to use just because I do need to keep this pretty functional for everything that's going on, but it's a nice touch. And then I'm flipping into the back of the book for this quote that says strong at heart. I'm going to use some white gel pen because I kind of want it over here on Monday, which isn't a super busy day in my schedule. I just, it's just the new episode of The Bachelorette. And I guess it's today because I was a day late on posting it this week just because travel plans got all moved around. I think I cleared enough space for that. It's a pretty big quote. They had this quote in the book like two or three times in varying sizes, but I wanted to go with the largest one because I think it's just a nice statement piece. Strong at heart. The title of the sticker book, you can't go wrong with that. It's like when they say the title of the movie when you're watching the movie, like in the dialogue. I don't know, it gets me every time. Okay, so that's looking good so far. I have to get a bunch of things done before I leave town, and these checklists aren't going to cut it. These are really small checklists. So I'm going to look elsewhere for a checklist that'll fit like almost an entire box. I feel like the blue colors in this Biz Babe book will go well, so a combination of the navy and this lighter blue. There are only four bullet points, which not the end of the world. I guess it gives me an opportunity to focus on like four major things versus kind of splitting things up into like a bunch of tiny little steps. Also need a box on Monday for watching The Bachelorette. Um, not quite sure how I feel about this season just yet, but we, we will see. It's not like the most intellectually stimulating television. Like it's just, it's on in the background and I enjoy it. So that looks pretty good for that. Now we got to move on to Tuesday. I want to mix it up with the boxes and I don't want to pull them all from this Biz Babe book. I think there's some good sized ones in teacher florals that do match. Like these ones right here is kind of what I was thinking, these four blue ones. And I'm just going to be using a lot of blues. I, I think I already said that, but a lot of blue tones. Pulling this one because I actually start a new job on Tuesday. I'm doing training. It's not like a fancy like career job. I am working at a clothing store and folding clothing. But it's a nice summer job and it will help pay the bills. So that's going on Tuesday for my training shift. And then afterward, I think my boyfriend and I are going out to dinner. So I want like a second box underneath that. And I think there were some plain ones in this Strong at Heart book. I haven't done a lot of flipping through this because I really don't plan with like a lot of princess or Disney stickers. I know they're all the rage and everyone loves them, but they're just like not my thing. So I have Big Idea and I have one that has Cinderella on it. I think the Cinderella one will be fine just to like 
mark dinner. We might actually go to the movies, which it's been so long since I set foot in a movie theater, but I've been fully vaccinated since February at this point, and like things are starting to open up and I'm trying my best to like still stay cautious, but like some things like I just need to like get back to my normal life a little bit. So I'm gonna put this one closer up to the top. I just tore it up because they were getting cramped at the bottom. Is that an ad? That's an angle. Ugh. Maybe if I place this one first, we'll have better luck. Okay, that looks fine for what it is. Like, not my favorite, but it looks fine. I could put like a header with it. That'd be kind of fun. But I only have so many headers. To-do list. Gonna put that above my to-do list and kind of incorporate that darker blue tone over here. It's coming along, it's coming along. I think Tuesday is also gonna be another to-do list day. I'm gonna take navy blue from the Biz Babe book and put it down here in this bottom box. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna use as a header yet. I'll go with don't forget. They can't all say to-do list because I only had one of those stickers in the blue color. The other one is pink. So don't forget. And then Wednesday, I have two different meetings. So one of them can use a big box and the other one can use one of the smaller boxes because that's the same meeting that I have every Wednesday or most Wednesdays at this point, like summer scheduling. So these are gonna go in the middle box this time around just because I haven't been using the middle as a functional area so much. Do we like this aquamarine color? Like it matches the florals pretty well. So I think it's not too out of the question. So that'll go there. And then maybe some more florals up here at the top of the box. I'm drowning in sticker books at the moment, but what's new? I'm gonna grab the one I already cut just because it's like already prepped to go up against a line, just like this. And then maybe I'll combine it with some more like Cinderella-esque stickers to bring the theme back together. Yeah, like right down here is good with that. And I still have a little bit of room up at the top to write if something comes up, but I don't know. I don't foresee having much other than these meetings and probably like packing on Wednesday because I fly out on Thursday. Now I'm going to flip over to the other half of the spread and maybe like a circle or not a circle, a cluster of flowers down here would be kind of cute, like something like that. I'm going to cut this portion off and then I'll stick a flower down here at the bottom. Maybe a little bit more floral down here. I don't have a lot going on Thursday besides like travel plans. I think the bachelorette party starts on Thursday actually. Okay, that's looking okay. Um, we're, we're going with it. Taking this Cinderella sticker to finish up this box up here with a little bit of overlapping. Oh, that looks so cute. And when they're together, that's like a nice cluster. This box out of teacher florals is gonna be for the bachelorette party. It's pretty low key. We're just going out to dinner. And then I think we're gonna hang out at the Airbnb and maybe go out to like get drinks at some point. But her 16 year old sister is also in the bridal party. So it's not gonna be crazy. Like we're just kind of hanging out. Going into jewel tone boxes because I want a full box right here. Let's go with this color. I do like the polka dots, but I'm trying to keep it simple with these ones because these ones already have a little decorative accent on them. And this is gonna be my travel plans. Got a board flight and then another flight and then get to the Airbnb from the airport. So much fun. I haven't flown in a very long time. And then because there's two legs involved in this flight, I'm gonna take these smaller blue boxes to kind of divide this up so I can like 
make note of what time I need to be at the airport. One of them is at 7 a.m. and I am not looking forward to that, um, but it'll be worth it. Going back to my college town. I haven't been there in a long time. I mean, I haven't been out of college for like that long, but the whole pandemic and stuff. So I'm gonna divide my two different flights up like that connection in like a major city because I'm not in a major city right now and I just don't want to do the drive to the airport and all that fun stuff. So now let's move on to Friday. I'm kind of taking this day by day this week. So on Friday we're doing like a spa day in the morning and like brunch and that kind of stuff and then the rehearsal dinner is at night so I should probably get something in there to mark that. Still haven't figured out what I'm wearing for that and I do not want to pack a million bags. I don't believe in paying to check bags on airplanes. Such a scam. So I'm trying to pack everything into like my carry-on and my personal item bag, which proves to be difficult when you have like a giant chiffon bridesmaid dress. So that's gonna be the rehearsal dinner. And then I need like a box to go above it for the morning portion. This appears to be the same color. So I'm gonna go back in jewel tone boxes and see if there's anything in a slightly different tone. Something like this will do just, just good enough for what I need it to do. And I can write on the page if I need like extra writing room. I don't know if I'm gonna be bringing this planner with me. I think I'm gonna set it up, take a picture of it and then have it in my phone just so I can, again, minimize like the amount of bags that I'm bringing on a plane. Gonna continue this floral cluster over into the Friday box by adding this little section. I want some more of these stars, but I think there was only one on the page. I'm gonna look through some other princesses sections cause I really just bought the book so I could do like this one Cinderella themed spread. Here's some navy blue on this quotes page. That, that's a good idea. Can add in a few little navy blue stars up here. And then the wedding is Saturday, so I just need like enough room to write down an itinerary. I'm gonna wipe this line out and then pick one of these two boxes. I feel like we've been getting pretty dark with the boxes, but I don't think I've used this color anywhere else. Getting tongue tied, I haven't filmed a video in a while. So we'll go with this one and then I'll lighten it up somehow. That looks pretty good. A little bit of white out peeking out, but that's not a big deal. I want like a nice header to go above that to fill up that space. I'm going with this remember sticker and that's gonna go up here. Taking another one of these out of BizBabe to mark my hotel reservation after the wedding is done for the night. Had to book that myself because the room block filled up and I was very upset because now I'm going to have to like shuttle to another hotel after the wedding is done, like get an Uber, all that fun stuff. Thinking more flowers or Cinderella down in this corner. I'm taking this Cinderella sticker, but I know I need to white out this line first, just because I want her to go right here. And then I'm thinking I'll take some more flowers and kind of do the bottom line of the spread with them, including some of these smaller pieces that I cut from other areas just to get them up against the line. Another one over here. And then I felt like I needed like, just like a bigger section of florals up here. So I picked this one because it has a nice dark splotch on it. Not sure what's going on down in this corner. Maybe I can take this one with the leaves and cut it so that it angles in like that. Can't go wrong with some more navy blue confetti stickers to kind of spruce this up. One more for good measure right up here. And I think that's what I need for Saturday. So like an itinerary of the day, nothing too in depth. Cause again, I will not be using my planner on the wedding day. I've got my own hotel room reservation for the night. And then I got to move to Sunday. I'm gonna need another sticker for flights. 
So here's one in the Jewel Tone Boxes book. I've been terrified to use this book because it's so precious. Like, I wish they released this individually. So this one's gonna go up here at the top of Sunday because it's first thing in the morning, like wake up, check out of the hotel, get on a plane. And I'd like to do the same kind of labeling that I did on the Thursday one, just to like keep apart the two different flights I'm gonna be on. A little angry that these boxes match up so closely. Like I like the contrast of that. That's a little too close to the one I pulled from Jewel Tone boxes. But I think once it's written in, it doesn't really matter all that much. In person, they're slightly different colors. Not sure how much that's showing up on camera. Gonna leave it like that. And then I want a checklist on Sunday because I'm moving on Monday. It's like the week where everything happens. Start a new job, then go out of town for a wedding, and then I'm moving, and a million things. This color is so close to that. We're gonna go with the navy blue this time around, just in this middle box. And then I wanna pick a header to go above it because all of the other checklists have headers, but I think I used the last one in the color, like the grouping for this. This one's coming out of the bell section in the book and I think it actually just matches very well for what it is. So that's staying there. I'm still thinking about this tiny quote that says, let your dreams lead the way. So I'm gonna stick this up here on Friday. That's looking pretty good. I thought I was gonna use the Cinderella stickers from this, um, what is this one? Once Upon a Time book. I'm not feeling them, especially because the foiling is gold. So it's gonna clash with that like rose gold color. So this book is just gonna get put to the side for now. Going into the teacher florals book again, and I'm gonna pull three of these little check flag things to make like my top three over here in the sidebar versus like doing a running to-do list. I think I have enough to-do lists to get me off the ground. And I've been using the daily planner again, um, planning on using that for like the busiest of these days. I do have a daily planning video coming up on my YouTube channel for the 23rd and 24th. I won't be taking planners like on my trip, but I think just like having it in my head, like this is the plan for like the 24th, even though I'm out the door, it'll be helpful. Gotta get rid of that notes icon cause that's pink and clashing with what I'm doing everywhere else. And then I'm gonna replace it with a circle sticker. I was thinking I wanted the shoe in there, but it's pink. So I'm gonna go with you are made of magic because the other option is strong at heart. And that says strong at heart. As I said, that quote's in here like a million times. So this is gonna be the new like notes icon for the sidebar. Could have done florals, but I think that works out well. And with that, I'm gonna call it good on this Cinderella wedding theme spread for my college roommate's wedding. Excited, but also like super stressed out about like everything that has to be done this week. So we're just going to get through it a day at a time. If you liked this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.